So um, I'm replacing the contactor. Um, just a real quick uh, intro and explaining how the contactor works. Uh, a couple of things is that uh, the uh, 24 volt AC, the low, the signal goes through these two contacts right here. I mean, these two pins right here. And once uh, the thermostat is uh, turned on, when it calls for the cold air, it will energize these two points. Uh, there's a coil in here that gets energized, and then that coil will then engage the contactor, and it will shut down, completing the circuit. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that, of course, then your uh, right here says L1 and L2. That's your line in. That's where your 240 volts comes in. So your 240 volt AC goes in here. Once this is short down, then your 240 volts AC goes out T1 and T2, the rest of your uh, con condenser unit. Um, so that's, the, that's how this whole mechanism works. And when you buy a brand new contactor, first you want to identify if it's a single pole or if it's a double pole. So the unit today we're doing is a double pole. And then you also want to look at the the ratings, um, we want to pay attention to the 230 volt uh, rating, so in VAC, 230, and as you can see the LRA is uh, 180, and the FLA is 30, and the resistance, RES, is 40. And you want to match up all of those ratings the same way uh, uh, to purchase the correct contactor. And if you can't find the same ratings, it's okay if the LRA and FLA are higher. Um, so let's go and install the contactor. So right here you can see the contactor uh, and the unit and if you watch this other video in the top uh, corner right here you can see how I got to this point and why I'm replacing it. But just uh, real quick the reason why I'm replacing it is just preventative maintenance. As you can see at the top corner right here uh, the contactor is blackened. It means a lot of usage. Um, this unit right here, as you can see, this is a single pole, just one side, not a double pole. Now it's okay, I forgot to mention this, but it's okay to use a double pole to replace for a single pole. So first let's just remove the screws that holds the contactor inside. Now after we remove it, we can now, oh, so this one is pretty nice. It shows the coil right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna match this up. So uh, this, the bottom part right here, these two wires, if we follow them, uh, as you can see to the side right here, if we follow those bottom two wires, the red and black, you can see it goes all the way outside to the unit, uh, to where the breaker is. So that will be our line one and line two. So what we want to do is that we want to connect it back to line one and line two. Um, so, and then the other side is T1 and T2. So this is the orientation and we're just going to move wires from one side to the other side, one by one. Okay, after I move all of that, now you can see that on this side I have a red wire and a purple wire that I need to go from the T2 to that T2. And on this T2 there's uh, four, one, two, three, four, four terminals and it doesn't matter which terminal I plug them into as long as it goes from this T2 to that T2. So. Alright, and T1 has a black wire, and again just like before, there are four terminals right here, it doesn't matter which one I go to, I just have to plug on one of the four terminals, 
there we go. Now there's still the yellow and the blue wire. I'm going to go ahead and connect this on here first before I move those two wires. Alright. So, now we got the two uh, the yellow and the blue wire. Now these two wires, it doesn't matter which side it connects to as long as they're connected to the opposite side. So this blue will go here and this yellow will go there. Again, these two are wires coming from the uh, thermostat. Um, or blue could go on this other end and yellow could go on this other end. But since the orientation is yellow on the right side and blue on the left, we'll go ahead and follow the same orientation. And again, there's two tabs. It doesn't matter which one you put it into as long as you put it in one of them. This side. All right. Now, again, this is a single pole. Earlier you saw the double pole. Now on this unit, since we took it out, you can see how it's uh, all burnt out and how it's damaged. Uh, it's best to replace it now than later. And again, where the 24 volt AC, as you can see right here, that's what it says up there, goes. It's a coil that creates a magnetic field and then pulls that contact down. That's how it works. So there you go. That's how you place a contactor and good luck replacing yours.